Guys, who said you don't get anything for free? Well, you know what guys, I've always, in all my videos, all my unboxings, all my reviews, it's always been stuff that I've bought myself. I've never been given anything to review up until now. What is it? Find out in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Seeing Through Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. If you haven't stopped by here before, please be sure to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, as I said, I've never been given anything to review at all by anybody for free until now. What is it? It's this. This is the Mini iX portable hub with USB slots, HDMI, and you know what? It's got 240 gigabytes of SSD. Yep, 240 gigs of SSD in a portable hub. Game changer. Let's get this unboxed. Trusty knife. Open. Exciting. Here it is in the box, guys. Got a little case to carry it around. Some instructions and the mini hub itself. So this is in space grey, and it's kind of like, kind of like a bit metally. USB-C connector, so you can see the ports on there, USB-C for charging, USB-A um, fast charge, sort of USB-3, uh, yeah, USB-3 ports, and an HDMI socket. Um, there's a little light on here, and here it says 240 gigs of SSD, and I don't know if you could read that at all. But seeing super light, um, I've actually, got one here which um, is a different type um, made by a Chinese company. This one is um, actually um, fairly versatile, it's got four USB 3 slots on it, it's got VGA, yeah you know what, some people still have that, HDMI, Ethernet, LAN port and of course the USB to charge, but all important card SD slots. So size wise the Mini iX comes out a little bit smaller, as you can see there. Um, no ports on this side. This has got ports on both sides. But um, quite frankly, um, having the SSD capability in here is actually very, very handy. I'm off on my travels soon um, to Amsterdam and I've got to do some presentations and so forth. And I'm going to be taking this with me. I'm going to be taking an iPad. So I'm only taking an iPad Pro. I think with the advent of iOS 13, the iPad Pro is super usable um, instead of taking a computer. Uh, no more first class travel for me. I'll be flying on EasyJet in with the uh, chickens or whatever you want to say. Um, but yeah, space is a premium. So traveling light, iPad Pro. I'm going to take this Mini iX portable hub with me. I'm going to store all my content, or rather back all my content up on here. Um, and you know what? I'm going to present off of it, HDMI socket, going to be trying this out, going to see how fast the SSD actually performs. And yeah, you know what? I'm actually looking forward to it. So, you know, super big thanks to Mini iX because, like I said, I've never had anything to review for free. Um, this is the first thing. And you know what, I'm really excited to use it. So like I said, I'm going to be traveling soon to Amsterdam, I'm going to be presenting, I'm going to be hooking this up to um, a TV monitor, a big monitor. Um, again, USB-C, so straight into the iPad, 240 gigs of SSD presentation on here with lots and lots of animation. So I'm going to see how this thing actually performs. It's very light, it's actually lighter than this one, strangely enough but this has got a whole bunch more um, 
connect us to it. But the only thing I would say that would be a bit of a downside, especially for me traveling with the iPad Pro, is, like I said, this one has got card slots, like beer mat flipping, uh, and this one hasn't. So um, that would have been the killer. For me, that would have been the killer app to have had card slots on here. But you know what? I'm going to use it for what it is. It's got storage in it, and you know what? Sometimes I edit on the fly. I use LumaFusion on the iPad Pro to edit. Um, you know what? I can always take my content on here, drag it into LumaFusion, jobs are good. Ones. So, you know what? It might not be a big deal to have no card slots, but, you know, for the sake of, you know, this type of thing, well, it would have been nice. That said, I'm going to try this out. There's nothing else in the box. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, looks good. Super compact. It's going to fit in the little bag. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So guys, that's it. A very, very quick unboxing for this product. I'm going to be back in a few days to let you know what I thought of this, how it's performed, etc. And, uh, you know, big thank you to Mini IX for letting me have this because, like I said, no one else has actually given me anything to review. And although I've been rather proud of um, buying everything myself and not being given anything, it's actually quite nice. It's a nice feeling, warm in my heart. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, let me know if you've got any comments or questions. Leave those in the comments section below. Like I said, I'll be back in a few days. I'm Dave with Seen for a Lens, and I will see you the next time. Thanks for watching.